Vice President Kamala Harris will announce her running mate tomorrow morning. That's what sources are telling CBS News. Now we don't know who it will be, but yesterday she interviewed at least the top three contenders. As Nicole Skanga reports, the latest CBS News poll shows that she's virtually tied with former President Donald Trump in battleground states. As vehicles come and go outside Vice President Harris's Washington home Monday, anticipation is building to hear her pick for a running mate. On Sunday, she interviewed at least three top contenders in person. Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, and Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir are also said to be in the mix. I come from a state where you have to cross the aisle. In an interview, Governor Bashir insisted he can appeal to voters in both parties while Pritzker touted his accomplishments in a new video. There's no better place to see the change possible under Democratic leadership. Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to officially announce her running mate tomorrow morning ahead of a campaign stop in Philadelphia later in the day. That's according to multiple people familiar with the selection process. Whoever Harris picks is set to join her on a seven state battleground tour starting tomorrow. The latest CBS News poll shows Harris virtually tied with former President Trump in battleground states and within the margin of error nationwide. Black voters now a big increase in the number who say they are going to vote. Turnout matters here and they are more enthusiastic with Harris as the nominee. The poll shows Harris and Trump statistically tied in Pennsylvania, Michigan and Arizona, with Harris two points ahead in Nevada and Trump with an edge in Wisconsin, North Carolina and Georgia. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, Washington. Voters may not get the chance to see Harris and Trump face off on the debate stage. Mr. Trump has pulled out of a debate on ABC in September, claiming when he agreed to it, President Biden was his opponent. Trump's proposed a debate on Fox News instead.